Hello everyone, that's here back again with another video and with screenshots and information about the Android 8.0 update that Samsung is preparing for us. So let's go straight to analyzing those screenshots. First, I would like uh, just to say that these screenshots are all coming from GSM Arena and uh, if you want to see what they have written about them, uh, take a look in the description, the first link will be uh, there and uh, it will take you right there. So uh, right now every Galaxy S8 is running Android 7.0 with Samsung Experience version 8.1. The Note 8 comes with Android 7.1.1 and Samsung Experience version of 8.5. But as you can see with Android 8.0 we are going straight to version 9. And as well you can see that the baseband version leads us to the fact that this is the smaller Galaxy S8. But uh, the same thing will go for the Note 8 and uh, the S8 Plus. The second one shows us that we have revamped menu when we hold on an icon. And you can see that now we have the shortcuts which differ from uh, app to another and notifications for the app if there are any. The options for moving multiple items, removing the shortcut if the app is on the home screen and disabling the apps are now laid horizontally one by one. Whereas uh, now uh, these options are, uh, these are the only options and uh, you can see that they are put it vertically. So this is a big uh, update over here that we're going to see. The third screenshot reveals us one of the new core things in Android Oreo, which is uh, the recognizement of text. And in this case, we have a link and the phone recognizes it, basically Android 8.0 recognizes it and gives us the opportunity to go straight to Google Chrome. But if it was an address that uh, then the Google Maps shortcut will, will be there. The same goes for the phone number and uh, the phone dialer and uh, so on. So uh, the fourth thing uh, is that now you can also have your ringtones played straight through your Bluetooth devices. Something small, but uh, some I'm sure that someone will find this uh, very useful. So uh, the fifth thing, uh, this comes from the settings application and more specifically the advanced Wi-Fi settings. So um, over here you can see the second options. It is for turning your Wi-Fi automatically when you go to a place where you use often for uh, when you use Wi-Fi often. So for example, when you go at, to home and uh, when you go at home, you, uh, you have your Wi-Fi turned on automatically or when you go to work and you use uh, usually Wi-Fi there if you just turn it on so that um, you don't have to worry about this thing. Another core feature is the so-called notification channel thing, which lets you choose what specific notifications you receive from a certain application. So here we have the mail client from Google inbox and for example, you can choose to receive notifications only for the emails that uh, are categorized as uh, important, the one that you categorize as important. So this is uh, something really nice. The next one shows us that uh, from now on, you can choose which application will fill your passwords when uh, you're being asked for one. So uh, if you're a user of OnePass, for example, the autofill option will pop up whenever you're being asked to put in a password to log on, regardless uh, if it's an application or a website. So this is uh, a really cool uh, add-on to uh, our devices. The eighth screenshot shows us the categories that I previously mentioned, but uh, also shows us that uh, now we can hide the app from having a badge on the top right uh, corner showing us how many notifications we have from this application. Next, uh, we have one from uh, the settings of the Samsung voucher which will have the option to hide those badges and... Um, next off, we have one from the settings of the Samsung voucher which will have the option to hide those badges uh, only show square just like on the Pixel device Next off, we have one from the settings of the Samsung voucher and as you can see you uh, have three options for the badge style. The first one is to not have any at all. The second one is to show uh, the number and the bubble uh, which is... Next off, we have badge styles. So this comes from the home screen settings application settings. Next off, we have app icon badges. So this comes from the settings menu from uh, the touch with launcher which comes pre-installed with your device. So you can choose between three styles. The first one is to not have uh, any of uh, these bubbles over here. The second one is just to have the bubble. And the third one is to have the bubble with the number of the notifications that you have uh, received. And uh, the last screenshot over here basically shows us nothing as far as um, um, uh, core things are concerned. 
but the only new thing here is uh, the fact that uh, there is a timestamp uh, next to your uh, recent searches and that uh, now on we, you have uh, the clear search history uh, button which is the blue one over here which will basically clean, clean your uh, recent searches so uh, during all those screenshots I noticed it's something that is present in all of them and this is uh, the fact that the status bar is kind of pushed inside as you can see uh, at any one so what I mean is that uh, the notifications on the left are pushed to the right and the clock is being put it to the left and um, I'm not sure if this is because of the edge display I'm sure it is because of it but I'm not sure whether this is present right now on your uh, edge device because right now I only have the S7 flat and I'm not sure whether this is uh, right now the same thing with uh, your devices so um, if this is uh, so I'd like to uh, apologize for mentioning it but uh, if it isn't so just uh, it is the 11th thing that I would like uh, to show you over here so um, these are these were the things that I would like to cover and uh, to show you uh, again if you want uh, to see those screenshots just uh, click uh, into the description below which will lead you to the GSM Arena site and uh, you uh, take a look at them closely by uh, yourself so uh, thank you for watching and uh, see you soon